So now that I've stopped working day to day on farms, um, I'm going to change it up a little bit in these videos. I've been using these videos to sort of talk about the things that I learned working on the farm. And uh, now that I'm not doing that anymore, it's going to become a little bit more about the documentary that I'm making. I'm going to use these videos to sort of explore some of the questions that I'm wrestling with um, in the edit for my film. So I want to start with the big question that got this project started in the first place, which is how the heck do farmers make a living? The project started for me reading a statistic which said two thirds of Canadian farmers have off farm jobs. And I went, what the heck? Of all the things you could be doing, how is it that growing food isn't a good business? How is it that two thirds of the people growing food don't make enough money to get by? And I've been chasing that question ever since, and that question has been forming my, my documentary, The Hands That Feed Us. And I think that question is still relevant. But it also comes from a place that doesn't really understand what farming is. It assumes that farming is just like any other job. You know, you work your eight hours, at the end of your eight hours you get a paycheck. That's just the way that a job works. You, you work some time and you get paid for your time. But farming isn't a job, farming is a business. And just because you grow a bunch of food, then you have to go and sell it. That's part of what a farmer does. Um, and there's no expectation that just because you grew a bunch of food, someone's going to pay you for it. Um, farming should be a really good business because everyone needs food. But it's still a business. And so, from some point of view, it's like, well, so what if two-thirds of farmers don't get by? That's business. And I think that's, first of all, a little bit callous. But also... It doesn't acknowledge that food is really, really important to everyone else in society. We don't want two-thirds of our farmers in economic uncertainty, because that puts our food in economic uncertainty. And I guess the lesson I draw is, farmers' lives are different from our lives in the city, in, in an important way. Their expectations about what life is going to be like are different. Their expectations about what life is for are different. They don't just get up in the morning and go to work and come home and keep their work and personal lives separate. A farmer's personal life is the same as their work life. And I think that difference is important. It makes them a different class of people. And so saying, oh, well, they're just a job or just a business doesn't quite work. And so I guess the question then becomes, if farmers are a different class of people, what does that mean? What's a fair way of acknowledging their contribution to society? What do we owe them for keeping us alive? I don't have an answer to that question yet. These are the questions I'm struggling with as I edit my film, and uh, hopefully by the end of the film I'll have an answer of sorts. And uh, you can uh, keep watching this struggle by subscribing to the YouTube channel. I have another set of good questions next uh, week, I hope. Uh, you can follow the project at thehandsthatfeedus.ca and sign up for our mailing list, or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram.